Yo, what's up guys? We're back in the garage, back with another video, and today we're going to be installing a 99-2000 spec, I believe it's JDM, cluster, and um, yeah, we're going to install the cluster and we're also going to change uh, the illumination of our dash. Uh, I ordered a couple of bulbs from Honda and um, got the amber bulbs because I believe that uh, the cluster lights up amber. Don't know yet, we're gonna find out. Hopefully it does. If not, we have to buy bulbs for that too. So uh, let me show you guys what we're working on. So here's our cluster here. We got the nine and a half K RPM, 220 kilometers an hour. And uh, it's a very big difference from the stock cluster. And uh, these are our bulbs. Uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two of these part numbers, two of these long ones, and then you're gonna need uh, two of those also. So there's two of them in there. So that's part number for that, part number for that. And that's all we need for our uh, 99 2000 uh, climate control. I don't know about the 96 to 98 ones, but uh, I'm assuming it should be similar. And uh, let's look at the cluster differences between this one let's just toss this in here let's look at the cluster differences between this one and the stock one so i mean right off the bat you can see our us spec cluster it only goes up to eight and a half reads miles an hour and it's got this uh like blue accents on it for um each one compared to this one that no longer has the blue accents and it also has the red needles let me see if i can get both of those in there so you got the red needles the temperature gauge and um the fuel gauge have these cool little markings instead of having uh you know this little stuff and um yeah so let's just jump into it all right so once you got those removed you want to remove those two screws that pops out and once you pop these out then these little clips down here hold it in place it's clipped in on the bottom too right there all right and now we have access to our gauge cluster and we're gonna have two phillips up top and then two on each side right here or one on each side i should say Let's also see if we do have the amber light up so that we can change the amber light up in all of our climate control. So one of the differences I just noticed on this cluster is that uh, we don't have the cruise control light, which is fine because I removed cruise control from this vehicle anyways, but we don't have the cruise control light here. So in the back, uh, that green plug right there won't be plugged in. And that yellow plug is for my uh, SRS. But since we already removed airbags, there's um, no point to plug that one in. We don't have the battery plugged in. So let me go plug the battery in and then we jump back into this. And there we go. It does look like we need one bulb up at the top that's not um, turning on. So one bulb at the top is not lighting up. It looks like we're not getting any on this side either. So I think that these clusters are just uh, amber lit, not with the bulbs, but with the face itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use bulbs from the other cluster to make sure that this works. All right, all of the bulbs uh, have been swapped over. Well, not all of them, most of them were swapped over. I just had to remove the blue little um, condom that's over the <laughs> light and uh, there we are everything's working 
it's a little dim i would have expected it to be a lot brighter but um eventually i think what i'll do is i'll just buy new bulbs from honda and um and yeah take it from there so for now continue with the install i'm gonna continue uh putting everything back together and then we're gonna jump over to the climate control all right you guys so the climate control is out uh pretty much it's four bolts on the bottom i removed the cluster so that i can remove the clip that's right here on the side so i can kind of press it in and push it out because you don't want to break these clips now what we're going to do is we're going to get to these two and then the other two are going to be i think they're along the inside we're going to have to remove this whole little assembly right here so it's going to be that screw there one back there and one here we're going to remove that so that we can get to those lights so let's jump on this one first number two and the third one is back here there it is all right so now that we have that out we have access to the two bulbs right here let me move my camera up a bit so we got access to one and two There's our two little, two little bulbs that we're replacing. And then the other two that we're replacing is right here. So we can disconnect this little. All right, so let's remove that. Bring our harness over. Move our harness out the way. And now we have access to these bulbs. Now I'm gonna need a little flathead, which I have here. I don't know why I didn't use it for the last one, but um, remove these two. And those are gonna be our long bulbs. So now let's get our parts. For the long bulb, that's gonna be your part number right there. Drop that bad boy in. Got our other long bulb. Drop it in there. All right. Turn off the lights in the garage so we can test everything out. And uh, just move my seat up. Now, let's get everything right. And uh, let's test it out. So, gotta make sure everything works. Okay, so our hazards work. Let's check the lights out now. We got amber lit. Let's close that door so we don't get that that ringing sound. That looks beautiful. And look at that. We got amber light up. I don't know why it looks so dim. Maybe it'll brighten up once I turn the car on. But we got amber light up. Looks really good. This looks the best. This shit looks kind of ass. I don't know why if the bulbs are new, but um, we'll have to figure that out once so everything's turned on. For the most part, amber light up. Easy to do, not so hard. Just needed four bulbs right here for our cluster. It was already amber lit. We just changed a couple of bulbs to make it work. But all in all, our interior looks great. And um, yeah, next up, hopefully I can get this motor running, get this on the street, still have a lot of things to do. Um, actually, let me show you what I got to do. Our B20 is just about ready, buttoned everything up. Nice new little OEM ground cable with some nice new OEM hardware. So uh, this is ready to start. I just need to uh, bleed the system. Next up, what we also have is uh, since the car's been sitting for a while, we got a lot of spider webs, um, but we need a front camber kit. And the front camber kit is also back here. So, we have a Megan Racing camber kit. 
And uh, the reason why I went with Megan Racing uh, is because it's the exact same thing as hard racing. Or hard race, I'm sorry. Exact same, like if you look at them, it's the exact same thing. Exact same thing. So, that. We have our rear disc brakes that we need to do. And lastly, if you can see back there, probably not, but we have some Willwood brake calipers that we're also gonna put on. So once all that is on, this thing's ready to go. We're ready to mob it. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video and um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so because there's a lot of good stuff coming up. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.